Hello and welcome to this new video for Open Computers. I am Pionel, developer on the team, known primarily for my work with OpenOS. This is the 1.7.2 update video where we'll be talking about some changes that we've made in regards to power. First, let me give you a little tour of the house that I have prepared for this video. Down here I have a fenced off area with a whole bunch of ocelots and this fenced off area with some sheep. And upstairs I have a computer that was running but has since crashed now that I've updated my mod pack. The analyzer will tell us why. Not enough energy. The change that we've made is now all machines by default require power with or without the presence of another mod that may be generating power. This could pose a problem except that we've added a new block to help us. To, to craft that block you need carpet and a capacitor. Craft those two things together and you get the carpeted capacitor. The carpeted capacitor is just like a normal capacitor, stores energy, connect them together, they share a grid of power, but with the added feature that when two or more ocelots or two or more sheep are walking on the carpet, it stores a little bit of the static electricity or a little bit of the generated power of the animal in the capacitor block. The capacitor then can share that power with other machines. I'm trying to get in the HUD how much power some of these have. Uh, basically they're full because we've been running this demo for a while. But now that those are connected and these ocelots are generating some power for us, we can connect that up with some cable, bring it up to the computer upstairs, and we should be able to turn the computer on now. There we go. No problem. Let's see how much power is stored in the network. Give it a little bit of time. Increasing power. That's all there is to it. Now some balance has been added to this feature. Two things in particular. I have found through testing that uh, flashing a screen from black to white in a tight loop will pull about 36 units of power, our open computer power, as, as you read off of these capacitors. And each cap carpeted capacitor with ocelots will generate about 6 units of power, and from sheep, 3. So with 24 sheep or 12 ocelots, you should be able to run a computer case, doing whatever you want with graphics. The other balance feature that we've added is that there is a 0.1% chance that one of the animals that's causing power to be generated on a capacitor will be zapped once per minute. So if you have two sheep on a capacitor, one of them has a 0.1% chance of being zapped. The other one won't. Uh, it's random, of course. So in this demo area, I've placed mini capacitors, car carpeted capacitors, and mini sheep and over time, they will continue to get zapped. And over time, they will start to die off. Thus, if you wait long enough, there would only be one left, because you need at least two to generate power, and only one power is being generated will one of those animals be zapped. And that's basically it. That concludes this video. I hope I've answered any questions you might have about this feature. If not, you can find me or other members of our community on our OC channel on Espernet or Ask in the Forums. Uh, thank you for watching.